Hello everyone, thanks for stopping by and checking out my channel. Now the Cyberpunk 2.0 update is finally here, and with that there are a ton of brand new changes that have come with the game, some of which are secret and weren't even mentioned in the patch notes. So in today's video I'm going to be going over a lot of the new changes that have come to 2.0. Now all these changes are a part of the free update, you don't have to have Phantom Liberty which comes out in just a couple of days. So if you already own Cyberpunk and you just download the 2.0 update, you can access all of this new content. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing I want to show you guys is that you can actually get a brand new free vehicle and all you have to do is go over to this location. Now to get this vehicle, you need to play through the story at least until you get Johnny Silverhand. Once you get Johnny Silverhand, you can then come to this exact location and you will find this vehicle you know just sitting here if you look over here in this pile of garbage you will find the keys and then once you find the keys congratulations you have yourself a brand new vehicle and after doing some testing this is honestly probably my favorite vehicle in the entire game so far it has absolutely crazy fast acceleration and it comes with the added bonus of having mounted machine guns so if you haven't yet i highly recommend you go and pick this vehicle up because honestly it's just absolutely amazing so the next cool thing that comes with 2.0 is that if you had the iconic weapon Skippy, in previous versions of the game there was a mission where you had to give Skippy back to his owner, and then once you did that you just no longer had Skippy. So this had a lot of players divided because Skippy was actually a really good smart weapon, so a lot of people were just deciding to just not give back Skippy and just keep it around in their inventory. But if you did that, there was a number of different glitches that would happen with Skippy. For one, you couldn't store Skippy in your stash, meaning that you couldn't put Skippy up on display in your apartment, and it was always constantly taking up an inventory spot. But if you gave back Skippy, then you would just lose out on that iconic weapon forever. But in update 2.0, if you decide to give back Skippy, if you wait a couple days, you actually get a text message back from Regina saying that she wants to give you Skippy again. Then all you have to do is head back to Regina and then she will have Skippy waiting for you at the front of her office. The only downside though is that Skippy will no longer have his personality and he'll just be a plain blank weapon. So up next, another cool feature that was added to 2.0 is that every single iconic weapon will have a special animation when you pick them up for the first time. Well, they listened to the community feedback where people wanted to be able to do these animations all the time. One of the most popular cyberpunk mods was actually being able to do these animations. Well now, if you double tap the equip button, whatever weapon you have equipped will do a special animation for that weapon. So if you find yourself a really cool sword or a really cool revolver, for example, you can just pull it out and do your animation at any time. So up next, there are a number of different arcade machines now that you can play in Cyberpunk. For example, there's one where you can play as Johnny Silverhand and you're taking over Arasaka Tower. And then there's another new arcade machine called Trauma Drama. And if you manage to get yourself the high score, it will come with two new rewards. Now it is a bit of a pain in the butt, it took me at least a half an hour to get the high score, but it is possible. And if you do get the high score, you will get the Trauma Team outfit, and you'll get a miniature Trauma Team vehicle that can fly around in your apartment. So if you're the type of person that likes to decorate V's apartment, then you definitely don't want to miss out on this new arcade machine. So up next, they added a new reference to Cyberpunk Edgerunners, the very popular anime that got added to Netflix. If you head over to this location, you will find a memorial referencing the characters in Edgerunners. So this is definitely a very small easter egg, but it's pretty cool to see they actually took the time to add this. But that is not all, update 2.0 also added a couple of new weapons that you can go out and find for yourselves. If you head to this location on the map and you have a high technical ability, you can get the Arata Katana. Now this is one of the coolest looking swords in the entire game. I absolutely just love the red glow that it has, it looks so cool. So what this sword does is it comes with a 30% burn chance and it allows you to leap towards enemies and attacking burning enemies guarantees crit damage. So this sword will catch enemies on fire and then guarantee you crit damage for those enemies that are on fire. But that is not the only new weapon that was added to the game. If you just play through the main story and you do the very first heist, when you play through the main heist and you get to the point where Saburo Arasaka is killed, 
you can then go and loot his body and you will find the new Nihon knife. And what's cool about this knife is that it actually works really well in tandem with the sword that you can find at the very top of the roof of this same mission. And don't worry if you're already well into your playthrough and you missed out on these weapons, in the new Phantom Liberty DLC, there is a new merchant and they will sell all the iconic weapons that you've missed out through your playthrough. So as you can see here, here is a screenshot of the vendor's inventory and I was able to get both of these brand new weapons at this vendor. So if you want to save yourself a ton of headache and you plan on getting the DLC, you can easily just buy both of these weapons from this vendor. So next up, I want to talk about some of the secret perk changes that happen to a lot of the iconic weapons in Cyberpunk. A number of different iconic weapons have had their special perks changed. For example, one of the best shotguns in the entire game, the Ba Zing Chong, has now had their perk completely changed and it's even better than it was before. So the Ba Zing Chong is now a rocket launcher that fires explosive rounds. This weapon can smart target up to six enemies simultaneously. Everything caught in the blast radius is torn to shreds. Be careful, that goes for you too. At low health, reload speed and burn chance is increased. So now this weapon is basically just a rocket launcher. So this shotgun immediately shot up to one of the best weapons in the entire game. Even when compared to a lot of the new weapons found in the DLC, this thing is just a monster. It takes out just groups of enemies all at once. And since Cyberpunk doesn't have any like rocket launchers or anything, I feel like this change was specifically made to address the lack of rocket launchers. Another big change comes to both of Jackie's pistols. The iconic perk now reads, every headshot temporarily increases your crit damage and burn chance. And the next time you equip this weapon, you will gain extra ammo equal to the number of headshots. Now this is a very unique perk because, you know, the more headshots you get, the more ammo will get returned to your weapon. But this actually has really good synergy with itself. Since you get both of Jackie's pistols, if you equip both of them at the same time, you can essentially just have unlimited ammo as long as you get headshots. So as you can see here, both my pistols are pretty low on ammo, but as soon as I get into combat, as long as I land these headshots, as soon as I switch to the second pistol, it's going to refund that ammo. So as long as you have both of Jackie's pistols equipped and you continuously get headshots, you will have unlimited ammunition. And in my opinion, this completely revamped these pistols. It went from being a weapon that was easily forgettable and it was just one that I just stored into my stash to immediately being one of my favorite new pistols. So another weapon that got changed was V's Dying Knight Iconic Pistol. It got a visual overhaul, so now the pistol looks different, except mine in my game is glitched for some reason. But it also got an iconic perk change where it increases damage while moving and guarantees shock with rapid hits. And if you get a melee hit, it will also do shock damage to the enemies. So overall, this pistol got a pretty good buff and is a lot of fun if you like to do a lot of running and gunning. And then next up is the Nihon and the Satori. These are the two weapons that I mentioned earlier that you get from completing the heist where you get Johnny Silverhand. These two weapons work in tandem together and they are a ton of fun. So if we look at the description of Satori, it says quick draw attack is guaranteed to inflict bleeding. If the enemy is already affected from bleeding from Nihon, Satori will cause hemorrhaging instead. Hemorrhaging drains enemy health and regenerates yours. And then if we look at the iconic perk for the knife, it says thrown hits apply bleeding. If the enemy is already affected by bleeding from Satori, Nihon will cause hemorrhaging instead. Hemorrhaging drains enemy health and regenerates yours. So as long as you are using both of these weapons together, you will constantly be draining health from your enemies and regenerating your health. So this is really fun if you like to use throwing knives or swords. And then up next is the Archangel Revolver. It got another change as well. It says an angel of a weapon with a devil's attitude. Full auto mode allows you to fire rounds in the rhythm of Samurai's Archangel. Successive hits after short intervals knock enemies to the ground. It also has a 200% headshot damage multiplier, 25% armor penetration, and 20% shock chance. So revolvers in this game already hit really hard, and now that this thing got a perk change, it is even better. And then the final weapon that I want to talk about that got a big change was Comrade's Hammer. Now before update 2.0, Comrade's Hammer was already one of the most powerful pistols in the entire game. It was pretty much just a one shot, one kill weapon with a really long reload time. Well now it has been changed where it says the cylinder has been modified to hold a single explosive round capable of wreaking utter destruction. Automatically reloads when you perform a quick melee attack. So now it does a very powerful explosive shot. And if you like to get up close in person, 
arsenal. Every time you get a melee hit, it automatically will refund your next bullet, letting you pull off a crazy chain of attacks. And in my opinion, the Comrade's Hammer was already one of the best weapons in the entire game, and now it is even better. And another cool thing that you can do with the Comrade's Hammer, now that they've added the vehicle combat, is that if you have the Comrade's Hammer equipped when you're on a motorcycle, if you shoot the ground beneath you, it will actually launch your motorcycle up into the air, thus giving you a way to immediately just launch yourself at any time. This is great if you need to escape police, or if you need to just jump over a car or jump over a rail. It just adds a ton of more mobility to your motorcycles. Uh, that, and it does a crap ton of damage and is really good at taking out other vehicles and stuff when you're actually, you know, in vehicle combat. But that is going to do it for a lot of the major changes that came to update 2.0. I'm sure there's stuff that I've missed. Update 2.0 is pretty massive. There are still brand new secrets being discovered in update 2.0 every single day. But as we find out more information, I'll be sure to keep you guys updated. But that is going to do it for everything in this video, guys. If you're new here, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications. I have a ton of Phantom Liberty DLC videos in the works, such as new iconic weapon locations, tips and tricks, and a bunch more. But that is going to do it for me, guys, and I will talk to you all in the next video.